In this video, we'll see how to take advantage of the grouping function in Excel to make changes to the formatting and data inside your worksheet. So let's say you have this uh, spreadsheet here that has four different worksheets, uh, actually five for some university enrollment information for various schools in fall and spring semesters for the years 2009 through 2010, 11, 12, and then cumulative information. Now, the first thing we want to do is group all these worksheets. So I'm going to click on the 2009 worksheet here and press shift and press the cumulative worksheet and that groups all these different worksheets. You can see that they are grouped by observing at the very top that it now says group here. Now the first thing I want to do is to increase the viewing size of this by zooming this a little bit. So I'm just going to click on the zoom button here a couple of times and now I have zoomed to 120% and you can see that because I have grouped all these worksheets together, the zooming applies to all the worksheets so I have just with just one click, I have managed to zoom all the worksheets. Next, I want to change, make changes to the formatting of this worksheet. So to get started again, just click on 2009 worksheet, press shift, click on the cumulative worksheet and all the worksheets in between will be selected and grouped together. Now, what I wish to do is to make sure that the university enrollment header appears merged and centered over the cells A, B, C, and D. So to do that, just click on the cell A1 and the cell D, D1, so that the cells A1 through D1 are selected and click on the merge and center button under the home tab. And that merges and centers the university enrollment header across the cells A through D the cells A1 through D1. And you can see by just clicking on any one, one of the other tabs that the merging and centering has been done for all the other uh, grouped worksheets as well. Next, I would like to change the width of the columns a little bit. So I'm just going to, as you can see, if you just click on any one of the other cells, the ungrouping has taken place. So you need to regroup it again. So just click on the 2009 worksheet and press shift, click on the cumulative worksheet. And now in order to increase the width of the A column, you can click anywhere inside the A column and under home, click on format and column width and here, you can choose a suitable column width. It's right now it's 15.29. I'm just going to make this into 25. And now you can see that all the other worksheets also have the same changes applied to them. And finally, I'd like to add up all the enrollments in the fall and spring semesters to show up on the right column here. And I'd like to all of the total enrollment across all universities to show up in the bottom row here. To do that, again, I'd like to first click on the 2009 worksheet, click shift, uh, press the shift button and click on the cumulative worksheet to select and group all of them. And now click on the cell B3 and drag your cursor across to the cell D10 so that this entire range is selected. And under home, click on the sum tab here and click on the sum button and that will result in all these numbers getting added up for you. This addition will also have been performed in all the other cells. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.